Ooh, I got a lot of emails about this one. Y'all sure know how to make a boy feel self-important. And make no mistake, that is what I am. I'm a self-important crusader who hates big companies while recording this on a device made by a big company. Checkmate, atheists. I don't think anyone's ever used that line on me, but still, checkmate, atheists. Anyway, let's criticize Overwatch because a lot of people really like it when you criticize Overwatch. Overwatch's fans are a bit like Destiny 2's fans, you know, they do complain a lot, but they want the experience to be better. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm just thinking about Destiny 2 fans, I'm not thinking about Overwatch fans at all who will just accept and defend and allow anything. At least when you look at the mainstay fan communities anyway, I wouldn't like to generalise, but generally Overwatch fans will just swallow whatever Blizzard gives them. It's funny because I'm being over the top and generalising, but also because it's fucking true. Anyway, apparently the nature conscious folks at Activision Blizzard, let's never forget the Activision part of that name, have a pet owl. And everybody knows owls are expensive to keep. You need a specialised habitat, mice, ever since the economy went downhill in the late 2000s. The mice price has skyrocketed. I just wanted to say mice price. No, it's not a literal owl, you silly fucks. It's the Overwatch League. You know, because these big AAA companies simultaneously want all of their games to be involved in esports while engaging in business practices that make them unfit for esports. It's just one of the many paradoxical have your cake and fuck it to desires of the AAA game industry. Anyway, even though companies want to jump on the esports gravy train because it is a train full of fucking gravy. They shouldn't be expected to pay out of pocket to engage with it, should they? That cost should fall to the end users. We learnt this when Player Unknown's Battlegrounds tried to host a tournament and funded it with microtransactions as well. These big self-marketing endeavours do cost money, and even though they are predominantly marketing endeavours, we are expected to be the ones to uh, put the cash up as it were. Not in exchange for nothing. You can get some shitty looking low effort Overwatch skins for your trouble. Yes, Overwatch's addictive and compelling Skinonomy has received a boost of 312 new skins to represent the 12 different teams competing in the Owl. Now a video game tournament that took place inside a giant owl would be fucking amazing. But that's not what we're talking about today. There's a brand new virtual currency called League Tokens, and if you want a skin, you simply spend a hundred of those to get one. Now a hundred tokens cost $4.99, so one of these shitty looking low effort skins is five bucks. Their best value deal, aka their most expensive deal, is 2600 tokens at $99.99, hundred bucks, which will get you 26 whole skins out of the 300. Now, of course, many people are just going to want these shitty recolors in order to represent a particular team. Although, there are die-hard Overwatch enthusiasts who need every little bit of content because this game got its teeth into them deep, so that's going to be a lot of money exchanged for a lot of League tokens. Now, you can trot out your usual, it's just optional and it's just cosmetic stuff if you want and ignore the compelling, addictive nature of so-called skin economies and all the other reasons I've given in an exhaustive video as well as over the past few years, but I don't really care about having that discussion today. Now, of course, let's not forget how generous Overwatch is actually being with these League token purchases. Half the money will go to the teams. But here's my confusion about that. You see, I've been told for several years that Overwatch needed its microtransactions to keep the servers up and running. I was extensively informed that the microtransactions in Overwatch are required. This is what everyone kept telling me. They're required in order to keep the game online and running because that's very expensive of course. And that's also true on the console versions where as well as paying 60 bucks base for it, you're paying for Xbox Live or PlayStation Network as well. It's still very expensive to keep these games running and we are the ones who always have to pay that burden. A tiny indie developer like Activision Blizzard couldn't be expected to spend any money itself on this of course. Heaven forbid they dip into their tax havens or Bobby Kotick halve his kids pocket money for a week or two. At least that's the story old Grandpamps told me when he sat me on his knee to tell me the story of Overwatch. 
and also Werther's original. Games are too expensive to make and sell. That's what the AAA industry would have us believe. And it's a story that certainly points to a very healthy industry. Games are also too expensive to maintain without microtransactions. You know, that's why removing them from Star Wars Battlefront 2 is going to have no material impact on EA. Without microtransactions, a game is forced to sell updates and DLC and new maps for money. They're forced to do that. And once they start splitting up the maps, they're going to start splitting up the community. Which is something you definitely feel the sting of in a giant game like Overwatch that's played by so many people. It's really important to keep that small little community intact. That community that will drop so much money on fucking skins and certainly wouldn't turn out in droves to purchase straightforward DLC. Now don't worry, all of that sarcasm is going somewhere. You see, if the microtransactions are needed to keep Overwatch going, they can't spare a single dime on this league. What are they doing splitting the money up with teams? Haven't you seen the tissue boxes Jeff Kaplan wears for shoes? You can't afford to do this, Overwatch. I was given the impression the Overwatch was made by Oliver Twist and all his friends at the workhouse. So I'm a little bit stunned that this money will be going to some self-promoting esports endeavour. I've been crunching the numbers through what I call triple A math, which is a vague mathematical science suggesting anything a game does to make additional money on top of the original purchase is done because games are too expensive to make. That's always the reason, that's always the justification Games are too expensive to make. And if that's the case, then this sort of frivolity, well, I just couldn't stand to see it pass without comment. You know, so many of us are quick to judge poor people for having luxuries like, you know, cars or phones. How dare they have communication devices? All of that money must always go towards food and clothes for their babies, but not nice clothes. It must always be sackcloth with little bits of rope tied around the waist. Activision Blizzard, being equally poor, shouldn't be spending things on luxury items like e sports leagues. Now obviously I'm sounding rather frivolous myself and facetious by comparing a corporation to some people, but well, that was corporate culture's idea before mine. And I'm not seriously applying logic here, I'm taking the piss. In an exaggerated attempt to point out the sheer lack of scrutiny people want to give Activision Blizzard just because it's good guy Blizzard. But let's not forget that they are indeed good guy Blizzard, which is why when you log on anytime between now and February 13th, you will get a hundred free league tokens. That's enough to buy one skin, get a sense of investment in the economy, and feel the need to keep... Oh no, that's such a cynical view. Jim, why are you so cynical? That wouldn't be the reason, it's just generosity. <laughs> so to summarise, Overwatch has some really shitty recoloured skins that cost five bucks a pop, not worth it, all to support a self-promoting esports league. It's only low-key wankery, but your good old pal Jim Sterling took it as an excuse to be very sarcastic, not be all that logical, but hide little kernels of logic in the shit in a vague attempt to piss off the Overwatch zealots who are always keen to give it a slop job and defend anything it does. So you know, just a regular Wednesday.